And there's the San Fernando Valley, mate. And that's Mulholland Drive. And we take a big sweep. There's Century City and LA City proper. And here at Runyon Canyon. So I'm listening to this James B. Stewart book unscripted on, on Paramount and many of the nurses who are taking care of Sumner Redstone in his final years, in his, when he's 93, 94, are concerned that these two gold diggers are abusing him. And so they work up the courage to make a report to the appropriate Los Angeles government agency, which only does the most cursory of investigations. So just imagine you risk your job, you risk, risk your income, your career, your good name, your reputation, your happiness, the well-being of your family to do the right thing and make a report to a government agency. And then the government agency only does the most cursory of investigations. So if you're going to be a hero, and think, think carefully, is uh, your heroism appropriate to the situation? Or is your heroism going to be ignored by people with you know, the power to do something? It's like, why would you want to sacrifice yourself if the people that you're making reports to aren't going to bother, that they're just going to go through the motions? So it's one thing to do something that feels good, tell the other thing to do something that does good. And there's no necessary connection between that which feels good and that which does good. So there's no replacement for effectiveness. Usually the higher IQ you are, the more capacity you have to be effective. Just uh, checking the boxes and quote unquote doing the right thing and making the appropriate reports to the appropriate government agencies, not necessarily going to do anything good.